Hello, hello, Texas teacher here, and the hype train has left the station. That's right, I'm going to be talking about Call of Duty World War II today, a game that I am insanely ready for. And I just got to see about 30 minutes worth of stuff about it. So, first off, let's get started. Call of Duty World War II is a game in development by Sledgehammer Games. They are the people behind Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So, They've already got Call of Duty chops. They've already done pretty good at it. Uh, Advanced Warfare was actually one of the first games I got to play on the newest gen systems of the PS4 and the Xbox One. And I have to say, it was absolutely beautiful in terms of, um, really in terms of everything. The technology was awesome. The graphics were awesome. The storyline, I enjoyed it a lot. And the multiplayer. One of the first times I got ex to experience Call of Duty multiplayer. And there were these nice features where you could jump over walls and you could run on walls and the little exosuit. And all that was incredible. But that's not how I started Call of Duty. I started Call of Duty with a game called Modern Warfare. Or excuse me, not Modern Warfare, World at War. World at War was the first Call of Duty World War II game that I had played. Before that, me and my family had had games like uh, Medal of Honor, which, good series, but it was very limited compared to Call of Duty. So, Call of Duty, World at War, wonderful game. But now we've advanced these games where we've got much more you know, advanced technology and advanced weaponry and lasers and missiles and all that kind of stuff. And Sledgehammer Games took three years and have gone back to that original boots-on-the-ground concept that Call of Duty is, and I have to say I'm incredibly excited for it. Now, the game drops November the 3rd, and they didn't release a whole lot of details today, not specific combat mechanics. Uh, for example, because E3 is coming up, and that's a very big one for the video game industry, so we will know more June 13th through the 15th when E3 happens. But what they were able to tell us, it's going to be featuring uh, a group known as the 1st Infantry Division. Now, the 1st Infantry Division was a real group during World War II. They participated in uh, the invasion of Sicily, invasion of Africa, uh, but those were in like 1943, give or take. Uh, the period of time focused on the game is going to be 1944 to 1945, and it's just going to be in Europe. No Africa, no Italy. Well, I mean, maybe a little Italy, but primarily it's going to start with the invasion of Normandy, something I've never seen in a Call of Duty game that I am incredibly hyped for. That opening sequence that I saw on the trailer today, and I'll send the link for the trailer in the description below, that Normandy cinematic that I saw reminded me of Saving Private Ryan, which is one of my favorite World War II movies of all time. And that sequence where you've come in on the boats, the drawbridge drops down on the front, and then just basically just machine gun fire peppers in almost instantly the chaos the struggle to stay alive is going to be shown very well in this game and I could not be happier for it and all most of the developers that talked today and several of the actors that talked had uh, family members who had personal experiences in World War II and I think that's going to translate really well to this and I know it's part of the reason why I really like World War II is because I had family members that fought in it. And the stories that I grew up with are a big part of my fascination with this war. Now, um, as far as multiplayer is concerned, I have to say there was a couple things that really excited me. They're going to have a war mode, which is to me seemed very similar to Battlefields mode, where you've got this very large-scale war, allies, Axis, us, Nazis. And so it's going to be very large-scale. There will also talk of a division mode, where you get to pick specific units that you're with. I'm not sure how that's working. I'm going to have to wait more towards uh, E3 to be able to tell you more on that. 
Um, something else that is, was revealed today that, quite frankly, the hype is real for, for a lot of people. There is going to be a new Call of Duty Nazi Zombies. Now, that was the first Zombies I ever played, and I played it with my little brother a few times, but I didn't care too much for it because it was just a massive horde mode. What it seems like is that they are following the lessons of Infinite Warfare's Zombies and Black Ops 3's Zombies, where you have more of a story to go with it. Because they were talking about it being a co-op mode, and they were talking about a story where basically, towards the end of the war, the Third Reich, which is Hitler's boys, are getting a little nervous, and so they go to another way of keeping the Allies at bay, which is zombies. So, like I said, looked incredible. And I'm really ready for it. I'm really looking forward to it because the more I've played story mode type zombies where you have stuff to do and there's more than just constant streams of the undead pouring down your throat, the more I enjoy it. So, really looking forward to this. Now, they will have, and they said later in the year, they did not give a specific date. So I'm kind of curious when that's going to run. They're supposed to have a private multiplayer beta. Um, but to have access to that, you need to pre-order the game. But let's face it, in my household, it's Call of Duty game. It'll probably be pre-ordered. Uh, but as of right now, I have not seen it on Best Buy's page. or So there's, there's places you can pre-order it. Uh, but I have not seen them yet. So if I find any, I will give them links in the description box below. If not, if you find some, link them in the comments. But this is uh, what we know so far about Call of Duty uh, World War II. And I have to say, the boots on the ground idea, it very much looks like something I'm going to love to play. And I'm, I'm a guy who loved exosuits. I loved uh, the Black Ops 3 method of uh, wall running and everything with your... Uh, upgraded people and of course infinite warfare which has thrived on that I, I love those games but i'm going to love going back to world war ii and that really started with battlefield one when i got to play world war one um even though i didn't care about the multiplayer as much the story was great and i absolutely loved it and as a guy who's you know trained as a history teacher this game looks authentic it looks realistic. The fact that they were on gun ranges testing with all the good World War II weapons, the, the ones that we can expect, you can, of course, expect the Thompson, expect the M1 Garand, um, expect old-style RPGs, of course, the usual grenades, the stick grenades, pineapple grenades, um, and the good German guns are also going to be here. Um, so you're going to have all the typical good World War II stuff to look forward to. And I can't wait. So, this has been just a little taste of what is uh, what was revealed in, the, the, uh, in their little reveal today. Um, like I said, I will link the trailer in the description below. That way you can see it. Uh, this has been the Texas Teacher. Class is dismissed. And I can't wait for some World War II action. Have a good day.